What? Ship's destroyed. Someone just killed me. Are you kidding? Nope. I'm dead. You're fucking joking. Nope. He just destroyed my whole ship. There he goes. Oh! Pff. Dude! Are you kidding me? Dude! <laughs> I see- Are you kidding me? That's what you fucking get for lying! <laughs> Why? Your turrets aren't engaging on me. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> Now you know, dude. When you tell- When you tell Luke that- Yeah, don't tell him. Don't try to be funny. No, he'll freaking blast you to space. I got so defensive that someone took you out, Bear, that I ended up taking you out. <laughs> Yeah, if anyone wants to take me out, it's gonna be you. Okay, how is everybody doing? This is Luke the Duke. And my friends, we just started filming and the server has just went through a very major change. So, uh, a quick explanation of this is basically all the asteroids in the game have now been um, clustered into four different groups. So as you can see here, GPS, asteroid field, one through four. So basically, you can only find these asteroids in specific places now. So there are a couple of different reasons why the server admin Demolish may have chosen to do this. Um, one of the really, uh, one of the major reasons is just to keep the server more player versus player themed, more oriented towards player versus player rather than player versus environment. If you're playing this game as a PVE player, you might find yourself hitting the limits of the server very fast. So this kind of encourages you to one, mine less because it's going to be harder and more dangerous to do it. And two, it's going to make you spend more time thinking about your offensive capabilities and, you know, your battleships and stuff like that. So this, you know, it, I, I honestly don't know. This could go either way. So I'm not saying this is a bad idea right now. I'm not saying it's a good idea. It sounds on paper like a great idea, kind of. So I could see this really spicing things up and just bringing more PvP but I could also see it becoming a little unforgiving towards the newer players. But one thing that is worth noting is the planets have remained untouched. It might be beneficial for you to actually spawn on a planet if you're a new player. It has never been like that before. It's always been hell down there. But now you can actually get, you know, ore veins that are laying around on the planet. And you won't be ganked by, you know, higher level PvP players. So, I, you know, just like looking back, mining was always like this peaceful... Um, sort of like tranquil experience where I hardly ever had to worry about you know losing my ship or if someone was gonna attack me or anything like that because the server was just so vast and there were so many asteroids and none of them were marked no one else knew where you were besides maybe a couple of your friends but now that all has changed so whenever you want to get ore ice literally anything you want to build in this game you're gonna have to put your ship on the line and you're gonna have to go to one of these four asteroid fields so big news my friends i'm i'm excited to be experiencing this all with you we're gonna jump right into it and see what's going on so gosh darn it you guys so that's if you're ever in a faction with me just keep that in mind i i will take things very literal and i will blast your ass out of the sky trying to protect you i will kill you trying to protect you so there's that you guys so <laughs> God damn, Bear has to build another fucking ship. So, you know, the the attack beaver, she she be attacking. Maybe a little too much. Um, So, yeah, I don't know what... That's my first friendly fire. I can't say that I've ever destroyed an allied ship like that before. So, I'm sorry, all the long-term fans. <laughs> if you didn't expect to see some friendly fire in Space Engineers, you just saw it. You know, in hindsight, I may have, my, my, my heart gets pumping and sometimes, you know, I, I just start firing. And if I would have taken a couple more seconds to actually look at the ship that was coming out of that asteroid, I'd be like, oh, that's bare ship. <laughs> that son of a bitch. <laughs> so everybody, I'd like to thank you for watching. This was a pretty short video. I just wanted to show you the very comical friendly fire incident. I don't blame, I mean, I slightly blame bear for kind of tricking me in that instance. But, you know, a small drill ship we've had a stern talking to. Um, you know, obviously there's a little blame to go around on both parts. Um, I was a little trigger happy, and he was a freaking trickster. I mean, well, it cost him his own ship, so, you know, I can't be too mad at him. And I also wanted to show you guys the, the new update to Fountain Core, and I want to 
kind of invoke a discussion in the comments. What do you guys feel about, you know, if you would like open open world, like procedurally generated asteroids? Do you prefer that to this new situation where you have to go to this asteroid belt and, you know, you're, you're just considerably more vulnerable than you were before? If you have any strong opinions, please leave them in the comments. I will be sure to reply to them. And once again, you guys, this is Luke the Duke. And good night and good luck. <laughs>